Hello friends. The following video is a sample from my Patreon channel. I talk about Patreon a lot on this channel because it's so important to me that you learn the things that I can teach you through Patreon. So this is just a little sample. They're not very long. It's $5 a month. You get five videos a week, Monday through Friday. It applies to both at-home homemakers and payroll homemakers. And uh, this is where you can decide if you want to be mentored by me. So if you decide you want to be mentored and you're in the Patreon channel, you've paid your $5, go look at the tiers and see what you need. All right, that's it. Have a wonderful day. Enjoy. Patrons, today's video is called How to Make a Meal Without Making a Mess. So if you're a super messy cook, this is for you. If you're not such a super messy cook, you still might get some good pointers. So give it a listen. Okay, so for messy cooks, you wanna start with a sink full or at least a bowl full of warm soapy water, something you can fit a pan down in. You need something to scrub with, like a rubber scrubber, um, a, a sponge with a scrubby side, a dishcloth, something like that. And you'll also need a towel, a towel to dry things because you're going to be reusing some things possibly. Now I'm gonna give you an example of what I made last night. So last night I made pork chops and I made, um, what did I make? Pork chops, a leftover macaroni and cheese, and green beans. It was a simple meal. So the loin pork chops were thawed out. That's another thing. Make sure your food is thawed out, that you've taken the time to do that by following your plan during the day and saying, oh, I probably should take something out and thaw it out. Um, so I, I cooked in one pan my pork chops and um, I just sprayed it with some Pam. You can use whatever you want, but I just sprayed it. I salted and peppered those, put them in and let them cook, flipped them over and cooked them some more. And I took a lid from another pan that fits that pan perfectly and covered it to make sure they were cooked through. So those were two pieces that I used and I couldn't wash those until I was through. And I used a big fork to turn them. So the fork goes, I use a spoon rest. If you don't have a spoon rest, go to the Dollar Tree and get one. That way when you're cooking, you're not making a sloppy mess on top of the stove. You're just laying it in the spoon rest. And if that gets messy, it can go in the dishwasher or you can hand wash that at the end. So I lay my fork in the spoon rest. For the macaroni and cheese, which was frozen, I simply put that in the microwave to warm up. So I used a paper plate because I didn't want to have to wash something else. And it was just some squares of of macaroni and cheese that I had cut up, some squares like that, more like that. I cooked two of those. So I put them in there and turned it on for a couple of minutes. So that was just gonna be thrown away after I put that on the plates. And the green beans came out of a can, I know, um, but I, they went in a small pot with a lid, right? And I used um, a spoon, I think, a slotted spoon to stir those. And that went in the spoon rest. I didn't really need a thing of soapy water because there was nothing to wash in between. But if I had been using that pan, let's say I needed to saute something in the pan first. So maybe I needed to saute onions in that pan. Then I would put those onions in a bowl on the side and maybe I needed to wash the pan if the food that I was gonna cook next didn't require onions in it. In the case of pork chops, I wouldn't have minded to have a little onion flavor, but you get my meaning? Okay, so at the end of that meal, I served the plates before I served the plates, or as I was serving the plates, I washed the pots. I know that sounds crazy, but the first thing I did was put the macaroni and cheese on two plates. I didn't want it, so I gave some to Larry and Mom, and then I threw the thing away, the little paper plate away. The um, pork chops came out, and I put them on um, a cutting board and cut them up for my mother, cut up her pork chop. While I was at it, I cut up everybody's pork chops, and I put hers on her plate, mine on my plate, Larry's on his plate, and I washed that, the board right then, just washed it real quick with soap and water, put it in the drain rack. I washed the knife, put it in the drain rack that I used to cut with, the meat knife. Then I put green beans with a slotted spoon on everybody's plate, poured out the liquid, washed the pot real quick. Well, I didn't wash it. I rinsed it out and put it in the dishwasher and put the lid to that in the dishwasher. And I had previously put the lid from the pork chops in the dishwasher. So when, and I wiped the stove. And the food's not getting cold because I'm moving. So dinner's served, the kitchen's clean. How's that? So when dinner is done, all we have to do is put the plates in the dishwasher. And I actually put all of them in because I'm so nice. <laughs> because they were in the living room. We ate in the living room. I took my mother's plate. I walked by Larry's. He said, oh baby, I was gonna put mine in the dishwasher. I said, no problem, because it is no problem. I took it and put it in the dishwasher. One plate, 
for each person, one fork for each person. Everybody had their, still had their water. And then I made, uh, our mama and I, we have a dessert coffee. And so we have two little coffee cups of hot water thing. I put some, um, my favorite thing, Hills Brothers, sugar-free mocha cappuccino, put two tablespoons in each cup, poured the hot water in, stirred it with a li little electric stirrer that I have, rinsed it, put it, in, put it in the drain rack to drain and dry, topped it off with fat-free Ready Whip, sprinkled it with a little cinnamon, stuck a spoon in each one, gave one to mama, one to me, and we enjoyed our coffee. After that, I gathered up her cup, my cup, rinsed them, put them in the dishwasher, put the spoons in the dishwasher. Now we've all eaten, we're all done. We're not gonna eat anymore. I put the soap in the dishwasher, but I still don't turn it on just in case until right before I go to bed. That's how you don't make a mess when you cook. So if you're making something more complicated, I can't think, but let's say you're making spaghetti, okay? So you have to boil noodles, you have to fry meat possibly, uh, you have to put your marinara sauce in if you're just using jarred. Um, you're gonna need to get out the Parmesan cheese. Um, you're gonna need to make a vegetable. Um, maybe you're gonna make some bread in the oven. So you're gonna have several things going on and no thing except the meat, where you cook the meat, you can actually put the sauce in there at the end. So that's the only thing that's gonna double. The, the noodle pot is gonna stay a noodle pot. The sauce pot is a sauce pot. The vegetable pot is a vegetable pot. And the bread pan is a bread pan. But line that bread pan with, if, like I make garlic, frozen garlic bread. So line that bread pan with tin foil. Ball it up, throw it away. If it looks like it's clean, put it in the, in the thing because it will be clean unless you've got a hole in that tin foil. And if you did get a hole in the tin foil cleanup, it's still going to be super easy. Just wash it off, stick it in the dishwasher, or wash it and put it in the dish rack. Okay? So, if I was gonna serve that meal, I wouldn't wash the pots because it's too much to wash in order to get the food out and have it be hot. But I would drain the noodles, put noodles on everyone's plate, put sauce on everyone's noodles, serve the vegetables. The vegetable pot, I would probably rinse and put in the dishwasher because nothing was gonna be sticking to that. Um, and I would, what do we have left? Take the bread out of the oven, put the bread on everyone's plate, crumble up the tin foil, lay that pan out to cool and serve dinner. So when dinner was over, I'd have to rinse those plates or everybody would rinse their plate, put it in the dishwasher or hand wash it and fork and possibly spoon and throw the napkins away. And um, the next thing I would do is that spaghetti pot, if there's any noodles left, I would combine it with the leftover sauce and then I would put that in a leftover container to go in the refrigerator, but I'd let it cool off before I put it in the fridge. So I'd put it in the container, stick it next to the fridge. Before I go to bed, it's gonna go in the refrigerator or the freezer, depending on what I need to do. And then I would wash the noodle pot, which is super easy. I would either wash that by hand or rinse it and put it in the dishwasher if there's room, because that's a big pot. And um, I wouldn't use a lid for that, so the lid would still be on the shelf. And then the saucepan or sauce pot, I would hand wash that if anything stuck to it, um, get that out and um, put it in the dishwasher with the lid or hand wash it and put it in the rack. And then I would wipe the stove, wipe the sink, wipe the counters, everything's done. We didn't need it a table. If we did, I would have wiped the table. And I also usually look down and see what I've spilled. I've usually spilled a little salt or something, so I give it a little sweep. And that is your after dinner routine basically, but I'm trying to help you not make such a mess when you cook by being thoughtful about what you do. So if you use a, a cutting board, wash it and set it aside. Wash the knife and put it in some place to drain or dry it off and put it away. Put it in the dishwasher, whatever. Use the things you use and take care of them right away. Don't just sling them down. It's the same premise as when we take our clothes off at night. Don't just throw it on the floor like a teenager. Hang it back up if it's clean. Spot it if it has a little spot on it. Put it in the clothes, in the dirty clothes if it needs to go there. Don't just put it on the back of the chair or on the floor. That's the way we work in the kitchen. Don't just put it on the drain. You're gonna have such a mess. Your countertops are gonna be a mess and you're not gonna to wanna to clean it up when you have a full tummy. Okay, that's it for today. I hope that was helpful. Have a beautiful day and always remember to be beautiful because you are beautiful. Now go make dinner and don't make a mess.